Now, head teachers in rural parts of the West claim they've had to sack staff and increase class sizes because of a raw funding deal from Westminster. It's an issue guaranteed to cross the desk of Neil Carmichael now that he's chair of the Education Select Committee. So, what's to be done? Here's Paul Baltrop. Two different classrooms, two different schools. Just 10 miles separate Backwell School and the City Academy Bristol, but their financial situations are a complete contrast. In semi-rural North Somerset, Backwell's funding has fallen in recent years. The heads made savings, even cut teachers, and called for change. There has to be a fairer, more equal way. And this is now supported by head teachers associations and professional associations that also understand that the situation got critical for many, many schools. Ultimately, it's not schools we're talking about, it's children and young people. Well, the tusks are going to be for, uh, for fighting, perhaps for getting... Uh, a science lesson at this high-achieving school. Staff know the future looks hard. The government will freeze education funding. In real terms, that's a cut. I think that's the frightening aspect of where we are in terms of funding. This school is not alone. I think this is the, this is the important thing. Many schools nationally are fearful that within two years they will not be able to maintain a positive balanced budget. The present school grant system is complex. There's extra money for things like deprivation, low prior attainment by pupils, and where English isn't their first language. The result? In Bristol, the funding per pupil is over £4,700, while the figure of £3,970 in next door South Gloucestershire is one of the lowest in the country. So in recent months, West Country MPs have clamoured to condemn the current system. Because if you look at the funding for Gloucestershire at £4,195 per head... He's absolutely right. We've gone on. I've been here since 2001. This has been a thorny problem since then. That cannot be equitable. We have to end this system. The government is promising change. We can no longer afford to sit back uh, and allow the formula to work uh, as it was originally designed because of the inequities in funding across the country. And this is an issue that we have made a clear commitment to tackle. That could hurt the City Academy in Bristol. Currently, it has the best pupil to teacher ratio in the South West. There are many reasons. Two thirds of students are eligible for free school meals, and language is an issue for more than half. So in this area we get a lot of students coming in um, that are new to the country, um, always new to the city, um, and sometimes new to education completely, um, speaking no English. They don't want to lose out, they agree the present system isn't fair. What's vital is certainty. Actually what there needs to be, is some, I think, is some sort of, you know, we've got a government that's now got a remit for five years. Tell me what I've got for the next five years, because then I can plan. Money though isn't everything. These Bristol children are catching the bus to Backwell. They're among hundreds who every day leave the city for worse-funded schools in neighbouring areas.